Gear Guide, presented by Pelagic High Performance Offshore Gear, official apparel of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Hey guys, wanted to take a second and talk to you a little bit about some of the tools that we use when we're out here daytime sword fishing. For starters is a harpoon. When you're fortunate enough to connect with a big fish and you get them up next to the boat, you want that harpoon, you want that ability to chuck that thing and hit that fish when he's 20, 25 feet away from the boat. It just gives you a tremendous amount of reach. That harpoon is rigged on a breakaway line about 100 feet of polypropylene and that's connected to a 10 inch poly ball. Don't tie that off to a cleat, that's one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Once you penetrate that fish, that brass dart's gonna come off the pole, it'll break right away. The pole's gonna dangle from the rope, it's on a little loop, and you can literally just haul that fish in with that line from that point. Once your swordfish is up next to the boat, a flying gaff is really an awesome tool. It's a big hook, it enables you to stick that fish right in the head so you don't damage any of the meat. And again, that line will break away from that pole and you can tie it off to a cleat and secure that fish right up next to the boat. You're also gonna need a couple of stray gaffs, small fish, or even to give you a hand with bringing bigger fish up into the boat. Stray gaffs are absolutely essential for daytime sword fishing. Finally, you're gonna need a tail rope. You know, if you've got a big fish, two, three, four hundred pounds, you want to get that tail rope on them tied off to a cleat. And between that and the flying gaff and the harpoon, that fish is dead.